Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today for another Christian Perspective uh, episode. And today we're dealing with uh, how to stand for Christ, uh, even when it's difficult. Um, and it's not really difficult yet, but it's time. It's it's coming where it will become even more difficult. If you can't stand for Christ now, it's going to be really tough for you to stand when it gets tougher. And what we're seeing here is happening in some of these sports leagues and some of these corporations is where Christians stand up and they a lot of people rally behind them and say, yes, you are doing the right thing. And there's others who stand up, says the right thing, and then quickly caves to the mob and goes through some diversity training. In other words, refusing to to adhere to who Christ is and and go ahead and and do that. But that's what is going on here. So we have two stories. I'm going to condense it into one story today. You know, the first story, of course, is the Dodgers, a Dodger playing Dodger uh, player standing up for his faith. But the story what we're leading off with is the Blue Jays player who decided to shrink away when the spotlight got too difficult for him to stand firm in Christ. And that's uh, that's a shame. I I, I want to pray for uh, for the Blue Jays pitcher here, uh, uh, Mr. Bass, for for for. Uh, to have courage to stand up. This is the moment instead of coming out and groveling in front of the cameras is when you dig in and then you share the gospel, you present the gospel to them uh, while being filmed nationally or, or televised wherever, where as he does this apologies, he's like, okay, you know, this is what I'm going to do. He comes up and says, I would just like to issue a statement today. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, people out there who probably took offense to my Christian faith, but let me share with you the good news of Jesus Christ. You could have gone into there and no, they would have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. cut the camera, cut the camera. Can't, can't be talking about Jesus on TV. <laughs> but you can talk about mutilating kids though, right? Anyway, so this first story we're going to dive into. And before we dive into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to become a member of the channel, if you enjoyed this new direction the channel is heading in, hit that membership button, become a member of the channel um, and, and get uh, access to some more exclusive content that I'll be putting on the channel here. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Uh, of course, this is uh, this is post millennial that I had the story. I had a story stored in other places, but this one kind of wrapped up the whole thing in order for me to be able to better tell it to you guys. Uh, so what we have here is a Toronto Blue Jays uh, pitcher, Anthony Bass, apologized on Tuesday for sharing a social media post that explained why Christians should participate in boycotting companies like Target and Bud Light, who have been at the height of national scrutiny over their failed marketing campaigns chock full of the Rainbow Coalition propaganda. Bass briefly shared the faith-based video to his Instagram stories on Monday evening, which he called on Christians to stop uh, patronizing U.S. companies that go against biblical teachings, but quickly deleted it following the backlash, and that's too bad. He had a moment to stand up and do something very special, to reach millions with his platform for the, for the good news of Jesus Christ. Instead, he shrunk back, and he hid, and he kowtowed to the mob. And this is his apology. Uh, let's take a listen to what he says here. Pride community. Uh, let me start it over real quick. Sorry about that. I recognized yesterday uh, I made a post that was hurtful to the Pride community, which includes friends of mine and close family members of mine. And I am truly sorry for that. Um, I just spoke with my teammates to, and shared with them my actions yesterday. I apologize with them. And as of right now, I'm using the Blue Jays resources to better educate myself, to make better decisions moving forward. Uh, the ballpark is for everybody. Uh, we include all fans at the ballpark, and we, and we want to welcome everybody. That's all I have to say. Yeah, except for Christians. You don't want to welcome Christians to Blue Jays or the MLB because you're forcing this guy to go around and apologize for having faith in Jesus Christ, for having faith and 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 speaking things of biblical uh, that that's near and dear to his heart, near and dear to his faith. He's not allowed to have a opinion or a voice, uh, and and he he's sorry that he hurt the Pride community. Really, really, are they are they sorry that they continue to mock Jesus Christ every single day? No, of course not. Of course not. The national religion of the United States is the USF gay, right? So let's take a look at this other story that's totally polar opposite of what this dude is doing, Mr. Bass. Uh, instead of kowtowing to, to the mob, this is what you should have done, my friend. This is what you should have done. You should have called up your friend over at the Dodgers and asked him, hey, dude, how how is it that you're able to stand for Christ and I'm not, right? <laughs> he should have called him up, said, dude, what's going on over there? 
if you guys remember, I did a story earlier uh, last week talking about how the Dodgers decided to go ahead and the Dodgers and the MLB in general have decided to come out and mock God, right? And I told you, I said it would take uh, players from the inside the organization to stand up for the uh, stand up for his faith and said, hey, this is wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. And here we have that a week later after I uh, talked about the story. He didn't do this because he saw my story or anything like that. I'm sure that's not why. He did it because he has strong faith in Jesus Christ. And he doesn't want to see Jesus or God mocked by these, sin, uh, by these people who are indulgent in their sin, right? Who are uh, continuing to make a mockery of our faith. And he stands up for them here, which is fantastic. This is what we want as Christians. This is how we should behave in the public square. We stand up for what is right and righteous and, and, and display the gospel whenever we're able to and stand firm in your faith, right? So here, Dodgers pitcher condemns the team for honoring drag queen nuns. God cannot be mocked. I, I'm, maybe he did watch my video. <laughs> he used the same type of language I did that on that video. Says the Los Angeles Dodgers relief pitcher Blake uh, Tureen has released a statement about his baseball's deci- team decision to honor the sisters' of, uh, perpetual indulgence con- uh, controversy and uh, brazenly blasphemous drag queen trope. The drag nuns were initially invited to participate in the Dodgers' 10th annual Pride Night scheduled for June 16th and received a Community Hero Award for dressing up in drag. They were uh, disinvited amid pressure from Christian groups, then re-invited following the backlash from the Rainbow Coalition. The group is known for its uh, garish barb and blasphemous displays and performances, occasionally featuring a crucified Jesus engaged in sex acts. Uh, He says, um, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed to see the sisters of petrol indulgence honored as heroes at Dodger stadium. Many of their performances are blasphemous and their work only displays hate and mockery of Catholics and the Christian faith. This group openly mocks Jesus Christ, the cornerstone of my faith. I want to make it clear that I do not agree nor support the decision of the Dodgers to honor the sisters of a perpetual, a perpetual indulgence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Taryn, who signed a three-year, $24 million deal with the Dodgers back in 21, went on to share the Bible, uh, uh, shared the Bible, Joshua 24, 15, seemingly uh, indicating that he is willing to accept and blow back consequences he may receive. This is, Obviously, a a stark contrast to uh, to Anthony Bass, who sat there and decided to bend a knee to the mob, bend a knee to the world, and shy away from his Christian faith. Be more like, be more like uh, this Dodgers pitcher. Stand up for your faith and understand that you are going to get blowback. Yes, you are. People are going to hate you for your faith. But they also hated Jesus in his day as well. He says, die to yourself and pick up your cross and follow me. Follow Jesus Christ. Stand firm in your faith. He has been given power over heaven and earth for you to go out and share the gospel to all nations, making disciples of all men. So let's act like victors because that's what we are. We have victory in Jesus Christ. Anyway, I thought I shared this story with you because it really highlighted two contrasting uh, that polar opposites of what it looks like to stand firm in your faith and what it looks like to shy away and hide your faith and be ashamed of it and apologize apologize for it. I will never apologize for sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And I hope you won't either. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can um, um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye, everyone.